Happy Thursday, everybody. It's Jillian. <coughs> As you can probably tell, my voice is a little scratchy and I'm coughing a little bit. Um, there's some sickness going around in our house. And um, I had an un unexpected surprise in that um, I got a box that I totally forgot about. Um, that doesn't happen very often. Generally, I'm checking and checking and checking to see when it's going to be delivered because it takes forever to be delivered. But... Um, this one came in the middle of some stressful stuff, so I, I um, just forgot that I had just gone ahead and closed it and sent it. Um, and it, it, was, it was just something that the only reason I even remembered it at all was because um, Neri traded me one of the items in it, and I really um, thought they were so cute. So you'll, you'll get to see them, but um, I didn't want you to think that I, I was lying about what I was doing with my little black bags. Um, this one just happened to be the one that I closed um, a couple weeks ago. So um, I'm going to show you what's in it. And um, the first thing I want to start with is the, um, I think they're by Philippe. They're wire threaders. I have thus far avoided the threaders because, um, frankly, I'm scared of them. But, um, when I saw Neri wearing them in her video, I decided to go ahead and, and give them a try. Um, and if worse came to worse, I could send them back. Or I could find somebody who, uh, who might like them. But, um, the more I, I thought about it, the more I decided that, um, ee, that these are really no different than fish hooks. So, this is my first threader experience. I'm glad we're going through it together. Okay. Not bad. Just like a fish hook. Actually easier than a fish hook because it's straight. Um, know that. I sometimes have trouble getting fish hooks through my ears because they um, they don't go through a straight line. You have to wiggle them around. Oh, this one's being stubborn. Okay. Unlike other people, I have trouble putting things on in their videos. It's entirely common for my earrings not to go in. Okay, so I'm going to show you. Um, these are super cute. I I may be down for the threaders, at least the ones that have the straight backs from here on out. I don't know that I'd want to sit there and wiggle around in my ear like the zigzag ones, though so they're really cute too. I'd like to have those. Um, let me show you what these look like. Frankly, they're like super thin hoops. They have little balls at the end. They don't hurt. They don't feel weird. Um... They're flattering. They just kind of elongate my face. And so whenever I turn, there's just a little bit of bling. So I'm going to let them stay in um, until the end where I'm going to do my Betsy Johnson doggy earrings. So you can kind of just see how they, they go. Um, I'm not worried about them falling out. Although I think if you were, you could probably just put a stopper in the back. Um, it's probably what the little metal balls are for at the end of this. So it just kind of goes around and around. But... Um, on this particular bag, um, I ended up trading the last minute for um, a satchel that I didn't necessarily think I wanted. We had we had just talked about whether or not um, the street level croc satchels were big enough to hold a laptop, and they're really not. Um, let me show you how small they were. Um, the dimensions seem a little bit off from the site, so let me show you. Um, I've taken the liberty of removing most of the um, stuffing and things like that. But let me show you. This is really about a head and a half big. So whenever I put that next to my package of index cards, you can see that this really isn't going to be big enough for a laptop. It may fit an iPad. I know it'll fit the iPad mini. But um, it's a really pretty red. It's not, it's not um, an awful red. I don't think I have anything in this particular dark shade of red with gold hardware, the top handle. There is no back pocket, which um, this is a cardboard type purse. This is not um, something that you're going to be able to smoosh a lot of stuff into. There's just no give. Recycling. Okay. 
So the interior is just super pretty. Let me show you. And you can see that there um, are a couple little pockets here that are pretty well going to take up this um, this side. You could probably slip in an iPad, iPad mini or um, a notebook or a planner on this side. And then this side, I'm going to go back so you can see a little bit of the natural light. Let me show you how far this goes down. So that's my wrist right there. So this is not... Um, a big purse by any standards but it does have bonuses in that it does come with a pretty red strap that is the same crock material as the satchel and um, I don't generally keep a lot of small satchels so I'm gonna keep this one and this one's gonna be good for me for when I go on presentations and things like that where I, I'm just bringing the bare necessities my iPad mini and my my wallet so you're not going to stick just a ton of stuff in here. You might be able to fit. Um, this is going to be a good good one to carry your bottle of perfume in because it's got so much structure to it. But remember, it is cardboard. At least it feels like cardboard. So it's not going to be, you know, super durable. No divots on the bottom, all crock. So, you know, it, it's really pretty. If, if you can get this, I, I love street level. And it's a really pretty color. Um... I'm kind of glad I didn't get the blue one now though because there's just not a whole lot about it that would be unique enough for me to add another blue purse to my inventory. Um, and the color on this is technically not red, it is burnt orange. But this is very much um, a dark deep rust red. So it's, it's really pretty. If you can still get this, um, and I think they're going for cheap on swap, um, this is a nice little bag. This is something that I would be um, wanting to carry to, like I said, either a work presentation or even, um, I would even feel comfortable carrying this to a wedding um, with a little black dress and my mocha pyramid bracelet in this same color and my new threader earrings. So something to consider, but it does have, um, does have the divots for the strap and then it also has little mini divots, little pretend divots. Um, on the side here, I don't know if I'm showing these properly. Okay. Little pretend divots. So if you don't like big old divots, you can, I guess, try the little divots. I, I don't know that I would. I think that would pull that out. But, um, cute bag. So think about it. Um, and again, it does come in a dust cover. So I'm actually really, really glad I got this. I mean, it was a last minute trade. I thought, you know, if it doesn't work, I'll send that one back. It's not a big deal. I've never sent a purse back, but I thought I might send this one back. And I'm not going to. I really like it. It's cute. Um, so give it a thought. Got one more purse, and then I'll show you my other pair of earrings, and we're done for today. It, it's, um, it's not a huge box, but with two bags in it, I, I don't generally do two bags. Um, but with two bags in it, it's it's a smaller than usual box. The other item I got was Izzy Nally, and someone generously traded me um, the blue satchel. I can't remember if it was Sarah or Julie. Um, some someone traded it to me at the very last minute, which I was I was very thankful for. And I've gone ahead and I've taken the the wrapping out of this one. You'll notice that it has. A short drop you can still carry it but if you look I've got bigger arms and so that's going to um, prohibit me from carrying it as well as I'd like to so let me show you the purse and I'll tell you what I did about not having a strap um, the purse itself is really super pretty um, let's see if my zippers there we go there we go easy zipper the, the lock on the front is kind of what drew me and it looks black in my pictures, but this is a deep navy. My um, my shirt's navy, and it, it really is. I had to look at it a couple times to make sure it was navy. It's a really, really dark navy. It's not a light blue navy. Um, but it's got really pretty gold washer divots on the front and in the interior. Um, kind of a plain interior, but there's lots of room. For example, we have our two pockets up here. And then we have the privacy pocket that goes all the way down the purse. But this is this is not a small purse. You could feasibly carry a small laptop in here, an iPad, an iPad mini, a notebook, um, cosmetics, 
medical stuff, pretty well everything you'd need would fit in here. Um, and what I did about not having a strap, I actually just contacted Izzy and Allie and I told them the situation. Um, they have a great Twitter presence and so I tweeted to them asking if they would happen to have an extra strap that I could get and I was planning on purchasing it um, simply because most purses without a, a detachable strap are going to be useless for me. And um, they said yes. So they are sending me um, the strap that goes along with this bag. So they, they are not asking me to pay for it. I don't know if they're going to change that or not, but um, there's plenty of room on the sides here. And um, I'm not really sure. I, I guess it's probably a crossbody. It looks like we have some, some little things back here, but um, they're going to go ahead and send me a strap, which is really nice of them. And so I think that if, if you get a purse you're not satisfied with um, and customer service at Little Black Bag can't necessarily help you, you may try contacting the vendor themselves because Izzy and Allie was really, really helpful. And I tell you what, this makes me much more likely to want to go after their purses, which if more of us go after their purses, the site will purchase more of their purses. And um, so they win. And so I think that um, for me, this was this was a great deal. I got a bag I like and a color that's my favorite. And I'll use it because I use big bags a lot. Okay, the last thing I want to show you, I hope you've been watching my bling here. <clears throat> and sorry, I, I'm just not as exciting when I'm sick. I'm not, and I'm sick a lot. Um, these are so cute, really. I have four dogs. Um, some of you know that from chat. But these are not as big as they looked on the site, and I'm going to show you. Look how easy those are. Um, yeah, the straight back threaders are kind of where it's at. Awesome. These are great. Um, and frankly, in and out, if you're not happy with them during the day, just pull them out, throw them in your bag. Um, but I don't think you're going to be. They're super light. I didn't even notice these were in. Um, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and say get these. You're not going to be upset about them. Try them on. They're going to go well with short hair or long hair. Um, and clearly my hair is up today, so up or down. They're just cute. I mean, I can just stick these as my backup emergency pair of earrings in my purse. I have a pair of silver ones in there now. So now I have a pair of gold ones. Um, it, it was it was a great deal. And people are, you know, trading down for them. Go ahead and get them. They're good. Okay. The Betsy Johnson doggy earrings. My last item today. I'll show you how big they are. Not super big. They essentially cover my lobe and then they hang a little bit because doggies have gels. And um, they're really cute. I really dig these. Um, I'm not big on the Betsy Johnson stuff generally because um, I feel like a lot of it is um, not my personal style. But um, the people at my office know that I'm a dog um, lover and I think that I'll probably actually wear these to the office. Um, I'm a little bit quirky and my clients are a lot of okay with that um, or they wouldn't come to me. So beautiful. And these are also, I think they're trading even. Um, at least they were the last time I checked. People aren't, aren't necessarily giving them up, but they're at even. So very, very cute, very, very practical classic. And if things trade down that are practical and classic, um, and you can get them for a bargain and then get more stuff that you might just love later, there's no reason not to get it. I, I think we spend so much time trying to get the higher higher priced items or the ones that are more trendy or the ones that are going for more that we forget that there are little classics like this out there. So, um, okay, that was for the re for real last bag that I have. Um, I am about to finish a bag. I have one more bag um, that Neri, Neri, thank you. Um, everyone should know that Neri gifted me a Cosmic Love pouch and Amanda and Sarah and uh, Denise and a few other people boosted this bag, and then most people that have been trading with me have been boosting my bag. So I'm going to have a really big bag, which is awesome, um, that I I was totally not expecting. I wasn't expecting to get to trade it all this month or for a while. So um, thank you. But um, I'm going to finish that bag tomorrow, and then hopefully I'll see you guys again soon. If you have a video that you 
want me to do or something you need me to talk about, you can just leave it in the comments and I'll eventually see it. I check these comments every three or four days. Um, but until then, I'll see you guys on chat. Thanks so much for listening and I hope that you're staying warm or cool if you're in a warm place. Um, and if you're sick, feel better. Um, I know a lot of people are going through a lot right now, so um, I'm thinking of you. Take care. Bye-bye.